There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Even yours? Even yours? Not anymore. So what do you have on Nathan? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now, I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. How much? How much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. And before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan, he dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe, I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that curve was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. It was insane. Fucked up. Chloe, that is so fucked up. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. Um, he's still dangerous. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Good thing you didn't tell anyone. Nathan Prescott better watch his back now. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass.
October 11th? Is this Friday? That's only four days away. What's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years, which is so... No, no, I saw it! I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get hot. It's been a hell insane fucking day. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. the end of episode one chrysalis i really like this episode yeah it's a good first episode it's got a few choices it hasn't got as many as the following i don't think but there's still a loads of like big choices and mini choices um so let's just go back and discuss all of our choices let's see if we have any regrets so far i hit the truth about nathan 63 <laughs> percent reported and 37 percent hid the truth I don't know. I feel like it was a dumb decision not to tell the principal. I, I kind of regret not telling him because I feel like maybe now that he wouldn't believe me, then I thought, oh, he won't believe me. You know, he's just a dickhead who cares about money. But I feel like I was wrong about him and that I was too quick to judge. Um, we comforted Victoria. 68% comforted and 32% made fun of. I think, I don't think, I, um, I'm comfortable with that decision because I, uh, you shouldn't make fun of people, you know? I mean, you don't hate just to hate. You just you gotta be nice. You treat people how you want to be treated. Otherwise, if you don't, if you treat people like shit, they're gonna treat you like shit. That's just how it is. 
you know, you should be nice to people. Nobody needs hate, you know? There's enough haters in this world without you becoming one yourself. Anyway. Uh, intervened to help out Kate. 79% did that, and 21% took a photo. Now, okay, yeah, the photo... Let's talk about this for a second, because, yeah, the photo gives us evidence that he was harassing Kate, but I don't think really we need the evidence, because I don't think we need to report David. I don't think that that's a legitimate decision. Um, because I feel like we needed to help, otherwise she feels like we're just another person who doesn't do anything for her, and that really affects our relationship with her, and uh, later on it risks our chances, it minimalises our chances of helping her with a certain event. Uh, <laughs> anyway, now, I came out of hiding to intervene. Okay, most people stayed hiding, actually. Stayed hidden. That's interesting. Actually, most people came out of hiding, sorry. 38% came out of hiding. 36% kept hiding. Um... Uh, that 2%? 2% blame Chloe and 24% took the blame for Chloe. Well, let's talk about this for a second because I don't regret this decision. I mean, yeah, he thinks we're doing pot and we're a bad influence and all this and blah, 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 but to be honest, I don't really care. I feel like there's bigger shit going on in this game. And maybe Chloe should take responsibility for her part. Yeah, I could see that. But I don't know. I went... The first playthrough I did, I went through it, and he slapped her, and I was like, no, that can't happen. I, I don't know, she just got in so much shit for it, and went, mm. I don't know, I, I guess I just felt bad for her. I'm not really sure what's the right decision there. Um, I'm not sure if I regret that decision or not, but too late. <laughs> now, the little decisions. We let Daniel draw a portrait. 52% didn't let him. That's interesting. I didn't sign Miss Grant's petition. 52% didn't. And 48% did. We helped Alyssa. Most people did that. I erased marks on Kate's slate. Most people did that. I watered my plant. Most people did that. You didn't touch Jane's pregnancy test. Most people didn't. I don't think... The way it was placed, I think a lot of people looked over it. Because on walkthroughs I've looked at, people don't look at it. They're just like, oh. I haven't seen anyone mention about that on the walkthroughs I've seen on YouTube. But I just discovered it. I was like, oh my god. I still want to know what happened there. I want the goss. Didn't touch Victoria's photos. Most people didn't. I didn't ride on a dirty RV, most people didn't. Again, I feel like that was something that people didn't see was a choice. They were just like, oh. I saved the bird, most people didn't save the bird. Again, same thing, I feel like most people wouldn't have realised that, that was a choice they could make. Most people just probably went downstairs at that point. Didn't break Chloe's snow globe, most people didn't, but again... Same thing with the last few things I just said. I feel like, again, it, it, some people were like, is, that's a choice. Or most people just search and were like, oh, well, I don't want to... Nobody wants to break something that's precious to someone, do they? So, didn't leave any evidence. I didn't? Oh, I see. No, most people wouldn't. I read David's files. Looks like most people did. Okay. Next is episode 2 out of time. So we will be back next time for episode 2. But until then, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> I'm going to take a little break now because I'm like, oh, I need a little break after all of this. Um, I might upload uh, a different playthrough. Not a playthrough as such, but I might do like a one cup slash two cup thing in between. Anyway, uh, bye everybody and I'll see you later. Bye. This is Megzi signing off from the first at the end of the first episode of Life is Strange. Bye-bye.